My name is Jeff Mabry, and I'm the Vice President of the XP1 program at Boom Supersonic. As we close out 2023, I'd like to share an update on XP1. The team is in Mojave, where we've been testing and achieving key milestones, all of which are critical in progressing toward first flight. When we talk about testing a complex system, we start with components, move on to assemblies, and finally, we test the aircraft as a whole. Over the last few months, we've accomplished multiple complex integrated systems tests, ensuring that with any given test, the appropriate combination of aircraft components and systems can work together successfully. In August, we received an Experimental Research and Development Airworthiness Certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration following a detailed aircraft and paperwork inspection. This assessment is the last by an external entity that evaluates the preparedness of the aircraft for flight testing. Internally, Boom has conducted a flight readiness review, an integral element in ensuring the preparedness of a team and a new aircraft designed to execute a first flight. We've taken the time necessary to fully evaluate key systems. We've upgraded our landing gear, optimized engine intakes, and streamlined ground operations. The propulsion system has passed all final checks to ensure readiness. The engine and inlets have been tested statically under numerous conditions, including 15 knots of crosswind. We even conducted a unique medium speed taxi test with a bell mouth attached to the inlet that simulated the airflow the engines will see at takeoff. A critical step in evaluating the aircraft and its systems as a whole is to conduct operations representative of what the aircraft will normally do. We conducted a successful 60 knot test, which then led to 89 knots and 94 knots in November. That's 108 miles per hour, and we're only going faster from there. We've been testing each component, each system, and all of the aircraft systems as an integrated whole, again and again, in order to see them all come together and consistently working in the form of a completed aircraft in a flight configuration. These are mature milestones that we have achieved on a road filled with barriers that we will continue to break. This will culminate when we achieve the milestone of flight in the Mojave Desert, which will be a stepping stone to the historic achievement of supersonic flight.